Hi, thank you for clicking me on. I'm doing a prologue to the video coming up because part of being a content creator for me is allowing myself to be vulnerable and knowing I'm going to be fine because of it. And this is real, real vulnerable stuff. I figure might as well go big or go home. I'm sharing with you something about INTJs and how we generally don't like to be parts of groups. We hate gossip. And I actually thought my whole life that this was a flaw of mine, that I should be more like that. And um, I feel much more free now. So you'll have to watch. I didn't do as much editing as I might normally. I wanted to remain authentic and real because it was just how I was feeling and it, it was pretty cool. So I'm sharing with you and I appreciate it. Let's get on with the show. This INTJ video is about uh, how INTJs feel about groups and on a level of vulnerability this is on a scale of 11 to 10 out of 10 it is something that was brought up recently in my mind again that um, as my 30 year reunion of kindergarten no I'm just kidding 30 year reunion of high school is coming up and I joined the committee to um, plan it, which we haven't had many plans due to coronavirus. Um, we haven't had any meetings, but it's coming up April. I'm sorry, August 1st. And uh, I see people posting on Facebook, especially now being made uh, prom pictures and homecoming pictures and ones that are showing a bunch of groups of people, of people that all hung around together. They still hang around together. They still get together. I think it's fine. Um, I've always been a tad bit envious, but yet never driven to try to join. Um, and, and they're good people. They're, I grew up, some of them from, you know, what, 13 years of school, kindergarten through high school and graduated. I'm friends with them on Facebook now. Uh, not close, but no worries. It's just that I didn't know this was part of the being an INTJ part that um, we don't like groups. So it's really not that I wasn't accepted into the in-group. It's that maybe I rejected it internally so it never allowed it to happen. It's kind of how I'm viewing it now. It's fascinating. I keep using that word. Um, but it's almost like they didn't reject me and I didn't reject them and it was just the way it was supposed to be. <laughs> so there was really no harm, no foul. I wasn't, I wasn't without friends. I always had friends. Um, it's that my friends weren't typically friends with each other. I had one that lived diagonally from me, met her when I was three, you know who you are, and another that lived down the street, met her when I was like, I don't know, six, seven, you know who you are, and, um, but they weren't friends with each other. I mean, they would get along, but they didn't call each other. They didn't hang out separately without me, um, and then I even went so far as I had a whole group of friends. This is the weird part. The group that I hung out with that was in the neighboring city, which is a rival of our high school, um, I mean, you know bordering the cities border each other I hung out with a group of people from there but yet I went to high school at a completely different place and would go home and would talk to people on the phone from the other school and I would go to their basketball games and I would go to their pool and I would go to their parties and then I would go to my own school it was just how I operated I'm still like that. I have friends that are in different pockets of the world. I have friends that wouldn't be friends with each other. Not that they would not be friends, but again, they're not drawn to each other. But I have, you know, a friend over here that I like to have deep conversations with. A friend over here that all we do is laugh. A friend, over, you know. So I just find people that fulfill a need for me as a friend, and they're my friends. I don't, I don't run in a group. And I don't see anything wrong with it. But before, I think it was one of those things where I thought that, again, I didn't feel that they rejected me. I felt that I didn't understand why I couldn't have been a part of the group. You know, why did I not feel driven to do that? I would have never, I mean, there were girls in prom dresses and there were eight girls standing there all dressed up. And I'm like, I never did that. I didn't, and I didn't. I don't really know about it either then, right? Facebook didn't exist in dinosaur times. Um, it's just funny to see the pictures now and realize I had none to show. 
I even went to prom with the guy that was from the neighboring city. If you're an INTJ and you've wondered about the same thing in your past, just let it go. It's nothing. Now I'm, I mean, I was fine and so excited to go see people because I have been communicating on Facebook with people from school. So I was already excited, but now I'm like even more curvy. I mean, it's all good. So we'll go, we'll boogie, we'll have a good time, listen to some songs from the 80s. And um, it's just a whole new outlook for me. I understand it now. Uh, I going to be one of those things that's just kind of tucked away and done with. As, another, as any other mysteries that I get coming along with being an INTJ. A little sidebar about the group thing is, um, not that all groups do this, but this is just in the same kind of pocket of information I believe for me is that I can't stand gossip I am so bored by gossip beyond belief and it just is not something I have any interest in continuing I will always try to change the conversation because it's I think it's useless it doesn't do anything it's wasted I'd rather have a conversation with that person about their life and what's going on in their life and what they think versus what their aunt Julie's niece's heroin addicted son is doing and who gives a flying so <laughs> that answers why when I was dating a guy in my 20s and there would be women in in the kitchen okay fine of course no I don't cook yes I hate the kitchen but it's not even about that it was just that um it was a lot of gossiping and I would always find myself being there to help clean up the dishes I would help with anything of that nature and be kind and show my face and then I would hoof it to hang out with the men because they didn't do that they didn't gossip they didn't talk about useless things sometimes it was even interesting and I got so much heat from him about that because he thought I should be hanging out in the kitchen with the women. And I said, I'm absolutely have no desire to, not that it was them, not that there was any reason to not hang out with them, but the topic of conversation was just absolutely useless beyond belief to me. So I went somewhere where it wasn't, sat out in the backyard, hung out with the men, heard them talk about other stuff that wasn't, you know, the what horrible people other people were for doing things it just made me insane i had to go i had to go oh good you're still here i hope you got something out of it thank you for spending your time with me and now it's time for me to ask you to subscribe if you like like if you like and share if you care till next time